Hi, I'm Robert Harrison, Training Director here at NLP Institute of California. So in this second video about why we feel bad, we're going to talk a little bit more about the difference between the map and the territory because this is a really important distinction to get in NLP. So if you remember in the last video we talked about the difference between reality and according to Mahai Chitset Mahai in his book Flow, there's about two million bits of reality we can absorb at any one second. But because of this process of deletion, distortion, and generalization, uh, he estimates we can take in about 134 bits of information between our conscious and our unconscious minds. So what we're taking in is some pictures, some sounds, some feelings, some tastes, and some smells about that experience. But you also want to take into account that the human mind on our best days, and this is according to George Miller in 1957, he wrote a paper called The Magical Number 7 Plus or Minus 2. So um, this concept of, of, of 7 being this magical number, this is where it comes from. And so what he was saying is that on our best days we can track maybe nine things consciously at a time, but most days it's about four or five. So again, imagine what happens when you get up in the morning and the first thing you do is you rattle off four or five things that you have to do that you don't want to do, that you're dreading. I got to deal with a gym today. I got to go to that meeting. I've got to do that chore. I've got to handle that piece of paperwork. And what you focus on is like a stereo receiver. What you tune into, that's what you tend to get. And you get that to the exclusion of everything else. So Think of your mind just like a stereo receiver. If you tune into classical music, you're going to hear classical music. And because of that, you'll exclude all other types of music. If you tune into hip hop, you're going to hear hip hop to the exclusion of everything else. And so when it comes to your attention, think of your attention like tuning into a stereo receiver or uh, doing a Google search or dialing in a particular web page. It's you're putting your attention in a direction. And there's a saying in NLP, there's a presupposition that energy flows where your attention goes. So remember, you know, at the end of the day, we avoid pain, we seek pleasure, and we conserve energy, which looks like taking the easy way out. So anything that feels bad to our nervous system, we're going to tend to avoid. Anything that feels really good, we're going to tend to want more of. And then we're always going to be calculating to see what will get us the most return for the least amount of investment. So if you're dieting and you find yourself really being drawn to potato chips and you're not sure why you're wanting that over baked potatoes, that's why. Your body is smart. Your body is intelligent. It looks at potato chips and goes, more calories, less effort. This is a biological win. So remember, at the end of the day, your body is driven by biology, avoiding pain, seeking pleasure, and taking the easy way out. And it's looking to biologically win, which is why the two things in a natural environment that give you intense feelings of dopamine are food and sex, because these are the two things in a primitive environment we have to risk life to get, okay? So remember, on your best days, you're tracking maybe nine things at a time, right? But most days, it's about four or five. And those days when you get up feeling blue, feeling down, feeling like nothing's going to work out, those days, if you just stop, step back, and take a look at your behavior, I'm absolutely certain what you'll find is you're listing off all the things that you don't want to do that's dominating your consciousness. And so it appears that that's all that you see. But remember, you know, that story we told in the last video about the elephant and the three blind priests, right? And, you know, these, these Buddhist priests, these Buddhist monks are going through the woods and, and each one of them gets a different part of the elephant. So they're right in their context, but they only have a small piece of the entire picture. So if you don't like the way you feel, if you don't like what you see today, try looking at it from another perspective. Try looking at another part of the elephant. Try asking yourself some powerful questions like what's great about this? How can I use this? Where is there an opportunity here? What can I learn from this? And how can I use the challenge in this situation to increase my personal development or my spiritual development or grow as a human being? And so learn to be great at making lemonade when life gives you lemons, okay? But at the same time, let's learn how to plant all kinds of different thought ideas in your mind. And, you know, feeding your brain is just like feeding your body. You will, you will get the results back that you put in. So make sure each day you're starting your day in a positive way. And here's a simple way to do that. Each morning, do what we call the daily five. 
That's real simple. It's what are five things that I can do today, something that I can do, something that will enhance the quality of my life, and something that's within my power. And if the day's feeling really challenging and I'm feeling really tired and really down, it might be as small as I'm looking forward to a cup of coffee today. And I'm looking forward to five minutes of quiet time. Some days you may get up feeling really grumpy. You go, I'm just looking forward to going back to bed tonight. That's fine, but that's one. And I want you to come up with five because I know by the time you get to five, you're going to get to something real. And again, it's going to shift your internal focus and it's going to get you focused on the right things. It's going to get you focused on what you want. It's going to get you focused on creating something that's positive and useful for you that you can look forward to in the future and that will change what you're tuned into. So if you're feeling bad, right, stop, take a look at what channel you're tuned into and tune into something different and do that by asking yourself powerful questions.